Hi everybody, welcome very much to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to start a spiritual and astrology video. Thank you very much for watching, your support is greatly appreciated. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and use the links down below to reach more of my content and to support me in a more personal way and to book a reading or personal consultation with me as well. Today we are going to talk about Sun in Libra. If you have that placement, this video is for you. So before we talk about the Sun in Libra, what does the Sun represent in astrology? It represents your individuality, your uniqueness, your personal perspectives, views, feelings, actions and expressions and in a more overall way it represents your visions about yourself and the world, right? So Sun, you, we take that, those elements and we place it in Libra. What is Libra? It's cardinal air. What is cardinal? Initiating or creating new ways or new things. What is air? It's thinking, communicating, analyzing, socializing, logic, thinking about others, thinking about you connecting with others, right? Or playing out those things in your mind, playing out those scenarios, right? So Sun in Libra means that you want to, because the Sun also represents your wants, you want to, or you act to, or you act in, or you are very expressive about new creative ways to socialize, to relate, and also to be logical and balanced about those things. Because the cardinal air energy brings a lot of you, creating a way to think about your perspectives, but also you create a new way, or after you think about your own perspectives, you can create a way, a perspective about others' visions and positions. Doesn't mean you are always right, Sometimes you are only thinking what others want and need and it's not right, it's not true, right? Just a disclaimer right there. Then, Libra is also ruled by Venus, right? It's the masculine, the external side of Venus. So that means that your actions will always carry or you will want that to look like or to actually be more balanced, like I said before, more relatable as well, right? That's why Libra is ruled by Venus, because they share those elements. But then Venus brings something to Libra, which is gullibility, right? Or you are too open or too engaging into others' perspectives and worldviews and wants, and you might forget about your own or not forget but care a bit less right uh, not not respect yourself as much as you should because you are too worried you are committed keyword also brought by venus to others perspectives and others actions and things like that right so you have to be very careful with your son in libra because you might get the short end of the stick and you think you're doing the right thing and then you can create new ways to justify and to analyze yours and others' actions and the situation and be like, yeah, uh, I deserve that, or I did the right thing, or they just don't know how to do better. That, that all might be true, but that doesn't mean that you should be the one compromising with the short end of the stick, right? You can create a balancing scenario where you take a little bit of the short end of the stick and they... Uh, take that too and you both learn right you to not be so uh, gullible and them to consider to do what you do to do less which is consider others perspectives and situations and whatnot right also uh, the constellation of libra that group of stars was born out of the seven thousand right so that also deals with relationships and the seven thousand because there are other houses that deal with relationships, right? But the seventh house is like all types of relationships. It's more, uh, it's more inclusive. Because many astrologers will say it's all about romantic relationships, but that's not true. That's entirely not true, right? Because that's more like water, right? Because the seventh house deals with work relationships, friendships, uh, romantic relationships, 
and then there is various degrees to romantic relationships as well, in relationship with your parents and siblings. The seventh house deals with all that, right? Well, for example, the third house, it's more those light, more detached uh, relationships that we even don't care so much because that's the other air house and the other air house as well, the 11th house, it's more a worldwide connection or you connecting your thoughts with somebody over the internet or something like that. It's more, all of those houses are more distant, but the 7th house, it's, more, it's the most personal air house, right? So people might misunderstand you by having Sun in Libra because you are very like light, sociable, detached, but then you want things to be more personal. And when others deal with the air element that does not come for Libras or just from the world, they are like, okay, they might not call it air, but everybody knows, oh, that person is more light, more detached, they ain't that personal, at least with me, but then you are personal. Right? Because remember, always remember that Libra is all about balance. Because like we're saying just right now, you have the detachment and being personal. Right? And you want, with the Sun in Libra, to bring those things together. Right? So others might misunderstand you. And uh, that might make you create a new way to think about them or the relationship like it's not working or you need to change something and you just need to clear the misunderstanding and, and be like, oh, I thought this, I thought that, which is something that you guys can do, Create you can easily create new ways to think, communicate and analyze and then express and act on it. The negative side is that sometimes you will do it when you don't need to do it or in scenarios that are not personal to you. You might somebody else's, I don't know, two of your friends are in a relationship and you might go and initiate a new scenario, initiate a new conversation or new mental perspective that shake things up and you are in that air element, detached, not really caring about it, you just want to talk. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, guys, that's everything for today. Sun in Libra. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys will leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to know more things about your sun sign in Libra or about your whole natal chart, I have um, natal chart readings available to you, tarot readings available to you, my own type of tarot readings available to you. You can do a personal consultation because the natal chart is very good, right, to know about. But then you have your own natal chart, I have my own natal chart, and with my personal consultations, we can apply your natal chart because, I don't know, I can have the exact same alignments as you do, but you're gonna use them in different ways, in different circumstances. So the personal consultations bring your uh, esoteric, right, map to your physical circumstance. So thank you very much for watching once again. Until the next time, Esoteric Cloud Surfer, surfing out. See you soon.